Hey guys, this is Contento with Trilogy Studios back again with another Gunpla review and today we're taking a look at the MG Gundam Barbados. Let us start by taking a look at the box. This kit was released back in 2019 and this box has this amazing artwork style. Like wouldn't this look amazing as a holographic super red card or something? <laughs> the sides of the box showcase all the gear that it comes with except for the stand of course. It shows off that crazy inner frame and all of those pistons. And of course it comes with a pilot here. The pilot's actually very highly detailed. And on the other side of the box we have all the gimmicks, like this armband with the pistons, its crazy versatile wrist, and the backpack gimmick which allows you to position the large main weapon under the arm without actually having to detach it. Next we have the manual, nothing too crazy here. And on the back side we have that graduation picture shot. The instructions as a whole are pretty good and are very detailed, especially for those part dense sections. And here is the kit with everything it comes with. No stickers other than the eyes were used and no details were added whatsoever. What you are literally seeing is what you get straight out of the box. Ton of color separation, the silver of the pistons, and even the dark brown color of the smoothbore rifle. This guy comes shelf ready. Here we have that mace, one of the coolest looking melee weapons out there. And if you were actually looking for something a bit more up close and personal, you can actually separate two daggers from it. It's not my style, but hey, I know people play rogues out there. As far as other gimmicks, the middle spike of the mace extends out and the handle also goes up and down, even though it can be a little gimmicky. And here is the katana. It's much more simple, sporting only two pieces. Up close, you can see that they have some engravings here, such as the stylized power symbol, looking really cool. And for the long range, we have one of the coolest weapons that I've ever built for Gunpla, the Smoothbore Rifle. Here it is folded. This is the way that it would look when stored on the backpack. Now let's swing that barrel around. It's slight of a puzzle, but nothing too difficult. And once you push this back in, you just bring that bottom forward a little bit and boom, this weapon is massive. Just look at it next to a master grade. The weapon came on its own runner, so I wouldn't be surprised if they released this by itself. Honestly, I really hope they do, so I can kind of dual wield these rifles on my Barbados. That would be awesome. Alrighty, let's go over some of these crazy moving gimmicks. For the knee bend, you can move these flaps right here. You can move them down, so you can get a little bit more movement there. And if you take a closer look here at the inner hip, you get a little bit more range of motion. And of course, all of these crazy pistons. Here we have the ones on the backpack, here on the shoulder, and the collarbone back of the knee, look at that one in the back of the ankle here, and the one in the midsection, and this little small one right behind the elbow. As you just saw, these are all working pistons, unlike the fake ones on my favorite mobile suit, the GPO-1. I know a lot of kids do this, and I know once it's on your shelf, you're not really going to notice, but working pistons just feel more satisfying, you know? And here is that double jointed wrist. It's quite stiff, but this is the kind of wrist that might loosen over time, so watch out for that. You can pretty much get this in any kind of direction. It's ready for all those cool action poses. And lastly, let's take a look at how the backpack allows that smooth board gun to go right under the arm. That's really cool. Honestly, I love the fact that this kit can have everything that it comes with on it. The mace, the sword, the smooth board gun. I just love when kits have this feature. Alright, so when it comes to rating this guy, what should we give it? Honestly, who are we kidding? I wouldn't give it anything else other than a god tier. This is that kit that when you buy it, you feel like you stepped up to the next level. It comes with so much, it's crazy. Like this crazy inner frame with all of its gimmicks, being able to hold all of the weapons, and just a sheer amount of moving parts and all the possible poses. I truly expected this thing to be like a grenade out of the box, but it really, really holds up. This kit just shows us how good Bandai is getting at making model kits. This kit is literally for everyone. If you like to just build out of the box, the color separation and pose potential is crazy godlike. Literally just grab a panel lining pan and you're good to go. For the painter out there like myself, you can just jump straight to work. And did I mention that kit all this just for around 50 bucks? Not convinced? Like try this, seriously. Build this kit and then immediately build another master grade afterwards. You're gonna know what I'm talking about. You're gonna see that difference. All right, if you have this kit, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't have it and you've been looking for another Gunpla to add a collection, this is a must buy, grab this one. And with that said, guys, this is gonna be it for the review. If you appreciate this content, please leave a like on the video as it helps with that YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more in the future. 
even though life can be tough sometimes, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and most importantly, let nothing stop you. Peace out, guys.